This coming Sunday is the third Sunday of Lent. We are moving through this 40-day period of preparation as we approach Easter. The Gospel is one that most likely is familiar to you. It is sometimes known by the kind of title, The Woman at the Well. <clears throat> Jesus has an interesting encounter with a woman who comes to draw water from the well. It seems like an ordinary daily event, and yet this conversation is anything but ordinary. The Gospel passage is from John's account, chapter 4, verses 5 through 42. <clears throat> Let's take a listen. <clears throat> Jesus came to a town of Samaria called Sychar, near the plot of land that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there. Jesus, tired from his journey, sat down there at the well. It was about noon. A woman of Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. His disciples had gone into the town to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, How can you, a Jew, ask me, a Samaritan woman, for a drink? For Jews use nothing in common with Samaritans. Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God, and who is saying to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you do not even have a bucket, and the cistern is deep. Where then can you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us this cistern, and drank from it himself with his children and his flocks? Jesus answered and said to her, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I shall give will never thirst. The water I shall give will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so that I may not be thirsty or have to keep coming here to draw water. Jesus said to her, Go, call your husband, and come back. The woman answered and said to him, I do not have a husband. Jesus answered her, You are right in saying, I do not have a husband, for you have had five husbands, and the one you have now is not your husband. What you have said is true. The woman said to him, Sir, I can see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped on this mountain, but you people say that the place to worship is in Jerusalem. Jesus said to her, Believe me, woman, the hour is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You people worship what you do not understand. We worship what we understand, because salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming and is now here when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. And indeed, the Father seeks such people to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know that the Messiah is coming, the one called the Christ. When he comes, he will tell us everything. Jesus said to her, I am he the one who is speaking with you. At that moment his disciples returned and were amazed that he was talking with a woman, but still no one said, What are you looking for? Or why are you talking with her? The woman left her water jar and went into the town and said to the people, Come see a man who told me everything I have done. Could he possibly be the Christ? They went out of the town and came to him. Meanwhile, the disciples urged him, Rabbi, eat. But he said to them, I have food to eat of which you do not know. So the disciples said to one another, Could someone have brought him something to eat? Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of the one who sent me and to finish his work. Do you not say, In four months the harvest will be here? 
I tell you, look up and see the fields ripe for the harvest. The reaper is already receiving payment and gathering crops for eternal life, so that the sower and reaper can rejoice together. For here the saying is verified that one sows and another reaps. I sent you to reap what you have not worked for. Others have done the work, and you are sharing the fruits of their work. Many of the Samaritans of that town began to believe in him because of the word of the woman who testified, he told me everything I have done. When the Samaritans came to him, they invited him to stay with them, and he stayed there two days. Many more began to believe in him because of his word, and they said to the woman, we no longer believe because of your word, for we have heard for ourselves, and we know that this is truly the Savior of the world. The conversation is unusual for a few reasons. In that culture, a man would not talk with a woman in public. Second, a Jew would not talk with a Samaritan. It is also unusual that someone would come out at about noon to draw water. Most everyone would go out in the early morning hours when it would not be as hot and when they would need the water for meals, for washing. It's likely that this Samaritan woman wanted to avoid running into the women of the village, and yet she does run into someone. It's Jesus. In the course of the conversation, Jesus calls her to honesty. She does not have a husband, but has had five husbands and is presently living with a man who is not her husband. The woman comes to recognize who Jesus is, the Messiah, the one the Jews have longed for. As they speak about life-giving water, the woman comes to realize that it is not the usual water from the well that Jesus is speaking about, but himself. He is the life-giving water. The woman, when she comes to know this, wants to tell everyone in the village. She is a kind of model for us. She is called to honesty about her life. So too are we. We are called to be honest before God in our spiritual lives. Second, she comes to know who Jesus is in her conversation. She realizes who he truly is. So too with us. In our conversations with Jesus, in our prayer, we come to know who he is. And lastly, she has a kind of conversion and wants to tell everyone about Jesus. She is a model of evangelization. The joy she has experienced in her encounter with Jesus cannot be contained. She cannot keep this good news to herself, but must go out and share it with others. The disciples, having gone in search for food, return to find Jesus speaking with this woman and they are perplexed. This was most unusual. Take some time on your Lenten journey to enter into this scene of Jesus speaking with the woman at the well. Let the gospel fill your week. See you in church for now. God bless.